in Oregon politics, the state's 82nd Legislative Assembly officially got underway today, kicking off a nearly six-month session. NBC 5's Derek Strom spoke with state representatives about what's new this year. He's live in studio with that story. Derek? Craig, one of the biggest changes this year, of course, is the arrival of a new governor and Democrat, Tina Kotek. This session will also be a longer session. Oregon alternates between 35-day and 160-day legislative sessions, with the longer ones taking place in odd-numbered years. That means it's also a budget year. Because Oregon operates on a two-year budget cycle, Governor Kotek will propose a budget for the next biennium, in this case July 2023 through June 2025, and lawmakers will adjust it and adopt a final version. This year, Democrats will not have a supermajority in either chamber, meaning they'll need support from at least a couple Republicans if they want to pass any tax legislation. There can be no new or increased taxes. Now, fees are not always ruled to be taxes, but we cannot implement a new tax without at least one Republican joining 35 Democrats. Wallen says she doesn't know of any Republicans that are looking to increase taxes in this year's session. Ashland Senator Jeff Golden told us earlier this month it would be difficult to raise taxes because of inflation and other economic challenges facing Oregonians right now. Wallen says she'll be focusing on homelessness and bringing jobs to Southern Oregon. She's looking forward to meeting and working with more than 20 new members of the legislature. Live in studio, Derek Strom, NBC5 News.